What is up, guys? It is crunch time for me and Tony over here. Hell yeah. We gotta finish our cars because drift events on Saturday. We got two days. Two days. Prep. I gotta do a diff on my, well, I just gotta fill up the diff on my car, uh, finish wiring for my coolant temp gauge, and give it somewhat of an eye alignment. And I think that's pretty much it. And test drive it, make sure it yeah, runs good. Yeah, yeah, make sure yeah. it even drives in clutch kicks first. Of all. <laughs> and then. I gotta swap my transmission because my second gear grinds pretty bad, but it's all right. We're just gonna do that quick, and I got a few other things that don't need to be fixed, but if I got the time, I'm gonna fix them. So, I'll let you know as we get, if we get there. All right, so starting the transmission swap process. Inside first, take off. I'm just taking off my shifter. And, yeah. Then, because if you forget, like we always forget, it just gets in your way later and then you can't take it off because it's stuck under the car. Disconnect my battery because we are working with the starter. And that gets sketchy when you're trying to get up there with a wrench. Now it's time to go up. Wait, cheese. All right, there we go. There goes transmission fluid, all that expensive. MT90 spilling on the floor. Wow, my floors. Good job, now we're gonna right. clean that up. I'll clean it up. <laughs> all right, just taking out my drive shaft now. The, um, luckily I was able to hold it tight enough with the uh, strap there to get them all loose. I didn't have to get anybody in there to put it in gear, but yeah, here we go. Great idea. <laughs> okay. There we go. There we go. Sweet. This is a drive shaft. <laughs> Take the slave off so we don't have to bleed it later. Just hang it off to the side somewhere. Alright, I pulled out the transmission jack. So I'm probably gonna end up dropping it by myself. So now I'm just gonna lower the transmission mount. That will probably give me access to the top bolts so that I could take them. Okay, okay. okay that bolt came out. All right. I don't know yet, guys. Right. Oh, if I go, you gotta come, man. You're gonna be the driver in my truck. You take mine. I would take my truck. Oh, we take the diesel. Perfect. What you take that? All right, let's see, let's see if we can get to the top now. All right, so all the way up there, trying to get that bolt, I'm gonna use a long extension, pop those out. That's the hard one, and then the rest are easy. All right, I got my socket all the way up there, let's attempt. Here's the first attempt to start taking out transmission bolts. Hope we're successful, because I don't feel like doing it any other way. All right, there we go. All right, let's repeat that. Couple more times. All right, come on. There we go. It's out. Let's keep going. Wow, guys! So I just took out the first bolt. You just saw that, and I got a little piece of aluminum thread with it. I do not like that. Well, we're gonna see. We're gonna end up helicoiling it then, but we'll see when we get there. Get the transmission out first. No, because Brian was looking at it, he's like, yo, check into it because he got the two-way thing. He's like, if I would have known. Oh, okay. I, I think we're hitting on top here, but let's see what we can do. All right, so the transmission is out. Oh, that was a lot of work because of the way my motor mount is. Motor mounts are, they're, they're like, they're higher than normal ones. So they're kind of, they're stiff too in the first place, polyurethane. And then they're higher up, so it gets the motor and uh, transmission closer to the firewall. So we had to do a lot of spinning and pulling and finagling and it came out. But shout out to my friends that helped me. But it's out, time to split it and put the bell housing on the new transmission. Uh. All right, on the front now, took off this cover. And then Gotta take off this little clip here, and then we're gonna try to split it just to look at the um, look at the gears and get the bell housing off. All right, totally could have recorded this, but I split apart the case or the transmission right here. I just put a um, a sacrificial bolt in there, one on this side, one on the other side, and I just hit it with a hammer. I threaded it in a lot so that it really got a good grip on here. Hit it with a hammer a few times, split the split it. So let's get it apart. All right, so this is what the inside of the transmission looks like. Uh, we can only see uh, first, second, third, and fourth. Reverse and fifth gear are in here. And we're not, we don't have to split that, so I'm not going to, but I'll show you guys what it looks like. So first gear is moving this one back here. That's first gear right there. 
and then we're gonna go into second. And my second gear grinds, so this is my old transmission, so if you look, to my knowledge, the synchros, the gold pieces here, are what um, help line up the gears when you're shifting, and if they don't, if they're worn, they're going to uh, not line it up right and they're going to grind. So I believe that's what's going on. They do look a little worn, but they don't look destroyed like I expected them to be, but yeah. So, uh, Riker, you got to move. Come on, buddy, go. Go over there, go. Come on. All right, so this is first, second, third, and then fourth. So, just like that, and then fifth. If I go into fifth, nothing moves up here. It's all in here. Let's get this back together. All right, just RTV'd the, um, the bell housing. Gonna just go ahead and throw it on the, um, the rest of the transmission now. Got that brand new Nissan gaskets and seals. This one's a front uh, transmission seal that goes in this cover. This goes in the front, the shaft comes out of. This is also the gasket for that. The rear main, the rear seal that on the transmission is already in there. I already put that in earlier. It's late, but we're still going. Whoa, sorry. It's late. Still going. Transmission's all put together, all sealed up. Everything's tight. Back in the car we go. Oh, sorry, dog. All right, it's working. It's working. It was. It's not easy. So, motor mounts are both loosened, and there's jacks on the oil pan to tilt the motor up. Got the thing at a crazy angle, and the transmission is at 90 degrees in order to get it to pop in there. This one's hard. It should be easier than that. But hey. We're doing it. All right, so the whole transmission's bolted up and the starter is in. Next, I'm gonna do the sensors. I'm gonna swap over the two rear sensors here just because the ones on mine, I know it works and they're in better condition, better shape they look like, so. guys so we got the car back down we're pretty much done with everything on the bottom just got to tighten the fill plug I took it off to check my level but right now we're filling in the uh, transmission fluid from the top as we always do with the good old Redline MT90 not a sponsor but we use their stuff this is GL4 so we're almost done we're gonna test it out all right so the car starts so we didn't mess anything up I'm just gonna go ahead and drive it on the lift, slam second, see if it grinds. If it grinds, we're just gonna take it. Well, we're not gonna take it out because the other one grinds anyways, but let's just see how it, see how it goes. All right. Hey, it spins, but the boat gets a shit. What gear is that? So drift prep is heavily underway. Putting the tires on. Hardcore guys. Those are those are front tires. Look at Tony's front tires, man. Rich. But bad news, one of them has a crack in it already. So we're gonna have to weld it. Weld the uh, inner part of the barrel. Don't worry, we got a plan and it's gonna be handled. <laughs> Simple. Now, Tony just started this shit up like nothing. Like like it was meant to run. Like it's always been running. 
Wow. Okay. Okay. All right, here's your update. It's 11.25, night before the drift event. We're still working, so Tony's car's on the lift. Got the Skyline on the lift. We're taking care of the uh, brake issue. It was locking up, but it was an e-brake, the stock e-brake, the internal uh, brake shoes were um, uh, too far engaged, so that was being an issue. So we took care of that. We're putting everything back together. It's working good now. Uh, my car, transmission shifts great. So it was, a, it was a success that we did a transmission swap on it. And now I'm just gonna do brake pads, just to help my e-brake work better. I'm gonna roll the fender a little bit just to help it make a uh, rub less. And Tony is resealing his wheel because it was leaking. So we're taking yeah, care of that. It wasn't uh, cracked, guys, so that's a plus. But we had to take apart the whole thing. And now we're just resealing it. We're getting a lot there. of seal. <laughs> But we're getting there. Kedrick's finishing putting his brakes on his car. We got... <laughs> Shout out to my boys, dude. Like, literally, there was a bunch of last minute stuff, and I came in. Adrian was already working on it. Will was working on it. Kendrick was working on it. Shout out to them for sure. So we're doing a bunch of last minute stuff. 12.30, so it's still early. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, yeah, it's felt yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So we're actually bleeding the brakes now. We did the, the rears. We bled them really good. Double checked it. Now we're doing the fronts. And then after, it's the hydro. To make sure it's all said and done. So everything's good. So he can go hot boy. And go really hot boy. Yo. He has to go hot boy, right? Has to. Like, damn. Alright, pumping. Pumping. You gotta fix that. We're gonna put that in. Holding. Holding. Like straighten a piece of piping where it would be like Holding. I'm gonna pump it right now. Pumping, pumping, it's hard. That's what you said. <laughs> it went to the floor. You locked it? Just like the good old days, up till 4 a.m. before a drift event. Hell yeah! But last thing we need to do is just bleed the hydro. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I have brake fluid everywhere, so we're just gonna do this real quick. So to make life easier to add fluid to the hydro, we have to definitely disconnect the steering wheel. So there's better access here. So much better. Look how much better that is. It went down so much farther. Holding. We got Kadeem's car running now here. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. One day, Dean. That was it. Let's go. So they changed the throttle body on it with uh, Johnny's. Go for a test drive. Hopefully that's it. Kendrick's finishing up here, and then we'll be good. But stay tuned, guys. Stay for, uh, tuned for the video. Yo, can I go to sleep? Yeah, I know. It's literally like 4:35 in the morning. But stay tuned for the drift video, guys. Back in the trailer, up in the dark. Fuck. <laughs> oh, as you guys can see, it is. It's, it's like we're still here. Like the. The episode ended, and we're supposed to be at the drift event, but it, we are still here. It is, oh, focus, 4.39. I'm going to focus that for you because you guys won't believe me. Come on. 4.39 in the morning. We, uh, we got to leave here at like 6, you know? I, we, haven't, we haven't even gone home yet. So, Tony's car is having problems. He's got brake issues for some reason, so we're going to try to figure those out right now. We got to load it onto the trailer still. Adrian's trying to load the truck. I know you hear me. We got walkie-talkies so we can be cool. Everybody's tired. My car is good, but it's still not good good. But hey, we're taking it. We're trying to take Tony's car. This is tough, guys. 
You guys have no idea. I mean, maybe you do, because this is normal drift event stuff. Maybe we just take it to the extreme. Well, at least some people sleep like two, three hours maybe. I mean, I don't think we're sleeping tonight. Probably not.